Hi everybody. I had planned to come out and show everyone the beautiful fall leaves. But if you've been following my Instagram, then you know that I am in um, the Red River Valley area for the sugar beet harvest. And it's been put on hold because of, as you see in the background, snow. So, of the beautiful leaves, this is pretty much all that's left. Um, it was a balmy 12 degrees when I woke up this morning and shortly after sunrise, we had beautiful clear skies and it dropped down to nine degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see now, we've got cloud cover. So we're a nice and uh, warm and cozy 41 degrees right now as the sun is doing its final set over there in the west. Um, sorry about the noise we had just a minute ago. That's actually a water truck coming around to the various RVs in the park to give them water because of the cold our park had to shut off its water so we no longer have water thank goodness we have electricity because that's what's keeping our butts warm um, it's a really nice park that we're in um, sorry for moving the trash can <laughs> because uh, they've got nice, lots of room and space here between the rigs I'm trying not to show you guys anybody's uh, license plate numbers. I have to try and blur them out or edit or something. Um, see if I caught anybody's in there. But you can see there's lots of space in between the rigs. And, uh, which is real nice. This is um, a state-run park right on a river, um, which is pretty groovy. Well, it would be <laughs> if it wasn't so dang cold um, but yeah this tree actually had leaves on it this morning when I was walking and now every last leaf is on a pile or in a pile on the ground it's so sad look at all those leaves already down so um, another individual that's working the beet harvest not at this particular location <laughs> put on their Instagram that uh, North Dakota didn't get the memo that it was fall and they went straight from summer to winter. I'm not actually in North Dakota, but yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. And I'm showing you the ground right now so I don't catch anyone's license plates. Um, but it's fairly a good parking lot. Par uh, parking lot. Jeez. See, I'm so cold. I can't even, don't even know what I'm saying. Um, but it's, it's a fairly good park. Um, generally I don't like to stay in parks but since this is free and it has electricity and it's so bloody cold yeah I'm staying in the park okay no doubt about that. Um, we got really lucky to even stay here and I saw some deer earlier I'll try to see if I can get those pictures in here. Um, normally they don't allow van dwellers but because I have a history with working the beet harvest at this particular location and staying at this park, um, they allowed me to go ahead and come back after sending photos of my rig, exterior and interior photos of the rig to prove that it was self-contained. Um, so that was the only reason we got to bring the van in. Otherwise, everything is strictly RVs here. Um, it's a park rule. I guess they had some problems a few years back when they let a bunch of van dwellers and tent campers come and work and the weather turned cold and everybody just abandoned stuff and they left a mess everywhere and they were like sleeping in the showers which I don't understand because when the showers are on you're lucky to get lukewarm water <laughs> so they're not hot at all here um, we maintain because I have a membership at um, Planet Fitness so we go over there to shower there's one across the river and uh, we go there to shower and clean up and work out if we're not too tired from work. But right now, like I said, we've been shut down for a while. We're going to be shut down for a couple more days because of snow. Found out from a local earlier today that once the snow is on the ground, 
after the snow, it's three more days you have to wait before you can start pulling beets out again. So that's what we're doing right now. We're in the uh, three day holding pattern. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to go back work soon. Uh, last year it was great. I'm sorry, I'm saying a thousand times because I wasn't prepared to, uh, <laughs> see, did it again. I wasn't prepared to do a video today, but I wanted to rip out, whip out the camera real quick why it was warm enough for me to stand out here for more than 30 seconds and let you guys know what I was up to. Anyway, um, yeah, doing the um thing again. I gotta stop doing that. I just really need to stop doing that. I just hate having dead air when I'm trying to catch my thoughts. You know what I mean? Let's see, I was gonna tell you something about the beet harvest. Oh, last year was cake. I mean, last year we had, I think it was like 16 days, and we had a day and a half off in the middle of that somewhere, which was perfect timing because we got a rest. And then we were back to work. We were about 16 days straight, and we were bam, out of here, done. This year, because of the weather, it looks like it's going to drag on for quite a long time, which is difficult to do things because then you're spending money and not making any because you can't go get another job while you're contracted for the harvest. And two, it makes it worse for the weather trying to get back south, um, especially when you have to go over mountains or whatever, depending on where you're going and the weather starts turning bad and so the drive down south is treacherous the longer that you wait. So hopefully that'll be good and it, we won't be here too horribly long and the travel back down south won't be bad. Anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, take care everybody. Ciao.